Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to talk about what is LED tape, what are LED pixels, and most importantly, which do you need and what's the basics of control for them. So many of you guys probably have you know looked out there on the web, seen pictures, seen pictures from big events, and you see stuff like like this LED tape and you might wonder to yourself okay you know it comes on a roll it lights up when we plug it in and we'll show you that in a minute how do I use it well at its basic core level a standard LED tape often called RGB LED contains LEDs on a strip of this kind of uh, wiry tape as it's called that allow you to mix different colors. Now, the standard, the, the regular, the constant voltage, as it's sometimes called, tape, has LEDs that just change color. And when I have a strip of this that I roll out, you know, to put on a, on a piece of metal or, you know, some kind of set design or something like that, each whole strip of this may be able to be controlled individually. But and so we can change the color, you know, we can turn it on and off, all that good stuff. But we cannot get control of each individual pixel, okay? So whereas with pixel tape, like this guy, I'm able to go ahead and I'm able to control each, every single little tiny LED with the standard stuff, you can't do that. So... When it comes to comparing, you know, a pixel with a regular, and I think I just did that backward, a regular with a pixel, the biggest differences really are that with the pixel, you can get individual control. And depending on your control situation, you may set them up to use a program called a media server that literally plays video over your LEDs. Or you may just do chases, you know, out of your console things like that. Now, what other options are out there? Well, just to give you a peek of really what's available, when it comes to pixels, there's a lot of different things. And one of the other products I like when it comes to pixels are these individual little pixel nodes. And these ones I've hacked together and uh, put a plug on. But, you know, these guys are really cool. They might look like Christmas lights, but you can arrange them in a lot of different ways, wire them into things, and uh, be able to have individual control of these big, bright old pixels with um, a lot less hassle than a typical LED tape. And you can see I've actually got some of those behind me right now on this wall. So, when it comes down to it, what should you choose? Well, the traditional style LED tape where the whole strip lights up at once is great if you just want to add some color to a stage, a set piece, or something like that. Now, each of these goes and it plugs in to a DMX decoder box, and that box then works with your DMX lighting console. Again, we're in the stage lighting world here, so we're using DMX, and it, for each output of that decoder box, you can drive a strip of LEDs that's all going to be the same color. And a decoder box may have one output. Um, the one I'm showing you here has multiple outputs. It has eight, actually. So I could do eight different segments of LEDs that could each be its own independent color. Now, this is really great if you only need this level of control and you don't want anything more fine-grained. Then go with the standard RGB tape. Just do it. It's easier to work with, it's easier to control, because you use a lot less DMX channels, and it comes at a little bit of a lower cost overall. But if you do want to be able to get individual control, if you want to do what, like what's going on behind me, where you can see these individual pixels, every one of them changing color, and having the ability to make everything a solid color if you want, but also maybe have twinkling stars or, you know, something like that, then you're going to want to go pixel. And pixels work a little bit differently. So I like these big pixels for this explanation. Because what the pixels do is you start, you plug them into your controller, and then 
the DMX data goes to the first pixel. Okay? Pixel number one here takes his three channels and he passes along the rest. Pixel two takes his three channels and he passes along the rest. So each of these have a little circuit on the pixel, whether it's a pixel tape or a pixel like this, that can talk like that. And they just keep passing things along. And generally, with most pixel controllers, you can do up to two DMX universes of pixels, which is around 340 if we're talking just red, green, and blue pixels. All right? So, and to control these, all we do is we get a similar box to our DMX decoder, but this time we get a pixel controller. So the one I'm showing here is called the Entech Pixel Port, and it's great. It has a really sweet little simple mode and a link to a video here on YouTube that shows you how to use that. But you can also fully map it out to completely control your pixels, whether that's pixels like these little nodes or, you know, LED tapes, doesn't matter. You can control it with a box like this. So that's the basics, and if you do want to learn more, be sure to check out the full post on Learn Stage Lighting that's going to talk you through the basics of how to use LEDs and how to hook all this stuff up, the gear you need, stuff like that. Be sure to check that out, and if you are new here, also subscribe and click the bell. Awesome. I'll see you guys on our next video. Um, I'll be continuing on if you're watching this, you know, as it comes out live per se on YouTube. I'm going to be doing some more stuff about pixels here, so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe.